to make working copies of sheet music. Uh, most sheet music, we're going to scan at 9 inches by 12 inches and reduce it by 94%. So, uh, first thing we got to do is go in and make sure that it's going to go on to 8.5 by 11 paper. So here are two trays that have 8.5 by 11 plain white paper. I'm just going to choose one of those. Sometimes what it'll do is it'll... Um, it'll the copy machine will think for itself and it'll print it out on some weird size of paper so I always choose one that's eight and a half by eleven um, we're going to reduce to ninety four percent okay and the original size is going to be custom scan area uh, nine inches on the Y, so 9.0, enter, and 12 inches on the X axis, okay, and that is, that's all. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and on the, um, on the copy, we just turn our sheet music this way, close the door on it so that it doesn't have any shadows. Make sure the door is down all the way and then start uh, copying. If you have a booklet to copy, um, just lay one side of the booklet down and then turn it, copy it and then turn it around, lay it the other way. And then when you go to the output tray over here, you'll have you'll have to um, pull the stuff out and sort it so that you, they all face the same way. Because one will be like this and one will be like this and one will be like this and one will be like this. Um, and that's okay. It's 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 worth it. So that's how to reduce sheet music on the copier.